Hey, what's up? This is Chaz with Guzen Radio and Guzen Video Japan. I am here in Ginza, big time Tokyo once again. Uh, I know I've been away for a little while, but I've been crazy busy. Cho isogashi with all the stuff I got going on. Uh, but uh, today is a special day because I'm going to have a, a little special show for you. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was uh, looking for some new music and uh, I jumped on iTunes, which is my favorite place to buy music. And uh, I was looking for something new and I noticed they had a new. A new uh, section called Indie Spotlight for Independent Art Singers and Songwriters. Uh, so I'm always into like uh, supporting indie artists and uh, trying to help them out. And I uh, thought I'd check out what's going on there. And uh, I was going through, listening to some songs, and I found this uh, singer, Jay May. Uh, and she had an album there, a little EP, about four or five songs. And um, I started listening. And uh, she had a song, uh, Blue or Gray or Gray or Blue. Gray or blue, and uh, I don't know, just right away. Within three or four seconds, when I listen to a song, I know what I like. And uh, I really liked her sound, and more, more than that, I really liked her lyrics. So I uh, ended up buying the album, and I wanted to know a little bit more about her. So uh, I followed the links to her website, and by Goose In, which is the name of the show, she's coming to Japan. She had a tour, like a 10 day tour here in Japan, and uh, so I shot off an email tour and I uh, thought I would uh, just see if she'd be interested in coming on the show. And I was very surprised because in about uh, two days, I got an email back from her and she said, cool, that she'd like to uh, hook up if she could, if she had time, and uh, do a little show with me. Uh, so today is a very special day because Jay May is in town and we're going to do a little interview right now. I feel so helpless now, my guitar is not around and I'm struggling with the xylophone make these feelings sound that I'm remembering you singing and bringing you to life and it's raining out the window and today it looks like night you haven't written to me in a week I wonder why that is are you too nervous to be lovers friends I got my special guest here and Jay May came all the way here to Japan just to talk with us on Guzen Radio Guzen Video Japan thanks for showing up no problem how you feeling <laughs> Tired, 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 tired. How was the uh, airplane ride over? Um, long, and uh, I can't sleep on a plane, so it was pretty excruciating. So you got here two days ago? Mm -hmm. Two days ago. So are you, we got you some coffee earlier. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little more, yeah, a little more alive right now. So, uh, how is it uh, being in Japan? Is it well, uh, a big difference? Because you, you were talking a little earlier, talk, but you've been to many places around the world. You're in London, and uh, you travel a lot, so you're living out of your suitcase. Yeah, I am. No home. Uh, so far, I mean, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know too much about it yet. It's, uh, I'm a little bummed I can't speak Japanese, I think. Well, I've been here 11 years, and I, I don't speak uh, Japanese, so you're okay. Yeah. But you're getting around okay. Yeah. I feel bad, but yes. Um, so you came over here and you're going to do this tour. And uh, you've been traveling, doing a lot since uh, this new album. When did you put it out? It's an EP. It's not an album. So it's five songs. And I, when did I put it out? I don't remember. Was it a few months back? Yeah, a few months ago, maybe. And then yeah. it just blew up on iTunes. And yeah. <laughs> iTunes, uh, it's funny because the Apple Store is right there. Uh, um, someone called from iTunes and featured my EP in the Indie Spotlight and it's really helped promote. So I was uh, on her website, uh, I saw you had some videos and stuff up, you had like, uh, you just got your, you just started really playing seriously, you did an open mic and stuff a couple years ago? Mm -hmm. Just a couple years and uh, just, you know, growing, progressing and uh, did you, solo all over now. did you always want to be a performer? Did you no. Did you have that in you before? Like well, you're gonna I've, be a singer? I've like... always wanted to, but I was just really shy. So finally after college I went on open mic and I knew. Like you said you knew about teaching when you right. walked in the classroom, I knew the second I was on the stage. Were you always doing poetry and stuff like that? Always though? writing. Forever, my whole life. So inside yourself writing stuff? Oh and... constantly <laughs> writing it always. So that all paid off then later on then. We'll see. So your music is a reflection of all the stuff that happens to you as you're moving in and out of it's, places? Yeah, I mean, uh, 
I think for songs, I started, I was always writing, but I didn't, didn't know if it was, it was prose, it was poems, and now it started being songs 2003, I guess, yeah. and they're about New York and relationships, and really, really I take in from my environment, so I'm sure I'm going to write a bunch of songs. I'm already starting to. Do you and, carry around a notebook and oh, yeah. scribble stuff and down all the time? Okay, yeah. So when you're putting your music together, I mean, the, the, what comes first, the words, and then you get the music, or no, it's, I, I, you case know, it, by case? It just, yeah, I, I write all the time, but it's really a joke. I mean, I think I just do it because I, I don't know, I, I, it's kind of a compulsion. But uh, whenever I have a song and I'm happy with it, usually it's just I sit down and it all comes out. And it's, it's a very specific thing. I realize what it's about immediately, but uh, they run in your head like... Like they don't stop. Yeah. So, uh, how many uh, instruments do you play? Uh, well, I'm I'm mastering the xylophone uh, recently. That's that's really my song throw. that's on there. That's in your oh. lyrics right there. Yeah. You're without your guitar. Eight colors. You on your xylophone? Um, I did listen. Yeah. <laughs> Struggling with the xylophone, but uh, my first instrument was the violin, actually, which I'm gonna start performing with as soon as I get one that's wow. not cracked in half. And I have a guitar and piano and uh, harmonica and, you know, joke instruments I like to play. So when you you did the CP, you went in, did you go into the studio? Did you have no, other musicians? No. Or? I basically, with my friend Jared Engel, who plays upright bass, we recorded in my bedroom in Brooklyn. So, uh, and then I had some friends add some other instruments, but it was no studio. We were, it was an experiment in Pro Tools, basically. Yeah, well for you guys out there, you know, like saying, I gotta get a studio, I gotta get time. It doesn't take that much anymore to do anything, no, really. No, no, Just so you use the Pro Apple. Tools, but you got like, I'm in. The, we're in front of the Apple Store, and I love Mac and stuff too. But Garage Band, I got friends that make music on that all the time too. And just put it down. And, did you get a lot of support from your friends and family? Like, uh, like go out and do it. What made uh, you go out to the open you know, mic night that night? Me. I mean, it's it has nothing to do. I don't think uh, with anyone else being an artist. It's. Uh, Oh, I remember being little and looking at magazines and being like, that's going to be me one day on the cover. But uh, I remember saying that to my brother and he was like, you're right. But, uh, I was doing that too. I was like uh, singing with the hairbrush and stuff, but they didn't go, well, I don't need a hairbrush right now. This is all shaving though. I didn't lose it. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> um, but I just never had the guts, but uh, once I put myself out there, I realized, you know, this is obviously what I'm supposed to be doing and, and uh, I'm not going to stop. So you've gotten, uh, things have gone pretty quickly then, haven't they, since that? Yeah, they're going well. <laughs> I like to keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, when you're an indie artist, it's it's um, it's so exciting because every day something happens. Like, you get an email from someone like you, or about an interview, or I get a phone call from iTunes and they'll feature me in Spotlight, or I get to perform with the Mates Estate, or I tour Japan or the UK, and every little thing, you're just... So exciting! And fun. So you run away right now? Well, yeah, but it's also I don't, I don't. It's all my schedule. I'm mm -hmm. not signed. I'm my own label, and and uh, I can say yes or no to any opportunity that comes up, and it's it's just yeah, I feel very free and having fun. Won't you miss me? Set inside Grand Central Station.